Ain't that song the truth? Uh, good morning, Assalamualaikum, Shalom, uh, Hotep. Uh, power to my people that scattered all the four corners of this earth. Uh, this is your boy Musa Azakar. Do me a favor, like the video, share, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I don't do that, but try to inspire and motivate my people. My people. What's going on, world? It is a hump day. Uh, halfway through the week, the work week on a Wednesday. And uh, today's subject is going to, we're going to talk about integrity and staying true to the game. Well, uh, me and my son, we usually have a little routine um, on Tuesdays. And in my area in Antioch, uh, we have a place, a pizzeria called Slim Huskies. We usually attend on Tuesdays. But uh, we didn't we didn't make it there yesterday. Uh, we went to the library, which is uh, right across from the pizzeria. And and they were voting. You know, it had the voters out there, the representatives and whatnot. Uh, and they wanted people's vote. Mm -hmm. So I'm telling people as I'm walking through, you know, walking through all the little uh, booths or whatnot, people set up to ask me, uh, hello, how you doing? You come to vote? I'm very stern, you know, like, mouth, no, you can't do nothing for me. I'm going straight so I, to the library so I can get on my Wi-Fi, you know, get on the computer and download my download my stuff on my computer. And... um People kept on, hey, are you coming to vote? Are you coming to vote? No, no, no. So this young brother, he got my attention. He's like, hey, what's up, man? Uh, you coming to vote? So I, I see he was a young black brother. <laughs> and so I, I, you know, I asked him, hey, what's up, man? Uh, what representative who? Such, 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 such. You know, who's who? What are they doing? And man, you know, I'm ready to jump on the reparations. I'm ready to jump on all type of shit. You know me. <laughs> and he said, he told me, he said, hey, uh, here go my aunt, man. She she's running for such 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 and such. And so, you know, me and the lady was talking. And, you know, I asked, she asked me, uh, what uh, region am I from? I told her, you know, I'm from Antioch, but I really represent all Nashville because I'm a native of Nashville. I just don't reside out in Antioch. I'm all the way around this motherfucker. Feel me. So um, she was telling me. I was asking her, um, "What, what, what all are you benefiting? What, what are we? What are we? What's our goal? What are we, what are we gonna try to fight for?" And you know, she was telling me what she's about and what she support. And you know, she said, you know, she support the same, same, same lifestyle, right? So you know, you know me on that stance. You know us. I don't mind people doing what they want to do. But the thing is, don't put it in my face and force it on me. That's one. And 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 another, you know, I was I was informing her that, you know, brothers like me, the average brother who just barely got on a job or whatnot, trying to make ends meet, you know, they go to these jobs that they set out here for us. And the people who live the same, same lifestyle, they get benefits. I mean, special treatment. Uh, now, I'm not on no, no, no crazy, paranoia, you know, type stuff, which they say homophobic or whatnot. I'm not afraid of nobody. That's what a phobia is. But I'm just naming out these facts, dropping these facts that they, you know, happen. You know, they could, they could be at the job looking at you in a certain type of way and getting away with shit. I mean, it is what it is. Let's talk to the masses of people about it. So I was letting her know about that on my side. And she was like, I was telling her that they get more benefits than, than, the, than the average brother. You're just not coming in the game. You know what I'm saying? 
She was like, I don't know anything about that. And all this other stuff. So I'm like, damn, I mean, really? I even asked her about, what do you think about our, our, our young men becoming feminized? She didn't want to talk about nothing like that either. So her son had introduced me to her, or excuse me, her, her nephew. I guess he overheard the conversation. And he had to hurry up and uh, I need to ask her a question. He took me away from or took her away from me. See, man, you know, listen to the minister, man. He, he changes you on how you think about things. And I got a lot of people on my, my, my Facebook or whatnot want to tell me stuff about him, but if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be on the stuff that they own. The minister tell you to acquire knowledge. He don't just tell you to go to the FOI, the NOI. No. And 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 he would say he's an agent and he did it. He killed Malcolm. Okay. Show me the proof. Show me the proof. Please show me the proof. And if he did this, so if they got Bill Cosby and they got all these other people, why can't they get him? Somebody just please drop some 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 receipts for me. Uh, I would love to hear them. But you know, I'm back on this integrity thing, man. And boy, it's a hard hitter. It's a hard hitter. We got some things on YouTube <laughs> that trip me out. First, we are gonna start. I have a posting from Brother Ben X. Uh, and it's about Cory Booker. And, it, and it's entitled, subscribe to Brother, Brother Ben X's channel on YouTube. Uh, Cory Booker has changed his mind about sitting Louis Farrakhan. The litmus test. And it is the litmus test. So I want you to hear this video and let me know what y'all think about it. Uh, Brother Wesley is talking to a beautiful sister right here. She's interviewing her. And the, 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 the topic is integrity. Check us out. There is that there is public outrage with Corey for being willing to want to listen to Minister Barkhan. Do you think that could actually hurt his chance at uh, presidency if he was to sit down and continue planning reparations with the minister? Probably. However, um, is brother Cory Booker a politician with integrity or without integrity? Most politicians lack integrity. Well, I've heard Minister Farrakhan's speeches uh, for a lot of my life, so I don't feel like I, I need to do that, but I'm not one of these people that says I wouldn't sit down with anybody and hear what they have to say, but uh, I, I, will not sit, I will not sit down with uh, Louis Farrakhan, period, um, and I reject anybody who uh, preaches that kind of uh, uh, bigotry and hate uh, towards other Americans. Okay, thank you for clearing that up. God damn, boy, that, that was quick. He bowed quick. I mean, shit. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. It, 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 it's an integrity thing. You know, brothers, we gotta have a backbone on something. And, 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 and my sister Monique, she she she's going through it. She done went through the persecution. And you know, they talk about Jesus, you know, having hair like wool. Look at look at the wool I have. I, I experienced some persecution. I'm looking at Monique right now. The stuff she went through, but her backbone is so goddamn strong. You can see the persecution. She's she's coming up, what's coming up on her. You know, when you tell the truth out there, man, you know, you're going to face a lot of opposition. People don't like truth and truth hurt. So I'm going to let my uh, my sister talk, Monique, uh, on Steve Harvey losing his show. Subscribe to Comedy Hype 2. Uh, no integrity and now no bag. So this is what she's talking about when she went through that encounter with Steve Harvey. And... All the malarkey that she went through, man. It's such a strong sister. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. And let me say this, and I, I'll try to say this with love, but I say it because it's how I feel. I've never met so many cowards 
and our black men in show business. I've never met so many black men that have no goddamn backbone. Ooh, at the workplace too, Moni. They at the workplace too, especially at the workplace. Ask them brothers at work. What happens in our community? They've got us chasing the bag and not principle and not integrity. Because when all of that start hitting and all of that start going on, I heard my brother was my own ears say, she's burned too many bridges. And I don't know if there's anything I can do for her. And that hurt my feelings because I'm like, brother, you never pick up the phone and say, hey, Mo, what's going on? Before you went on the air and you said to millions of listeners, she's burned too many bridges. You were a part of pushing that agenda before you even asked me what was going on. So when I got on the show, I knew I needed to have that conversation because you wasn't returning my calls. Mm. You wasn't returning my texts. See, I gave you the opportunity to have a private come when people say, why didn't you talk to him privately? I gave him the opportunity to do that. My texts and my calls went unanswered and unreturned. And someone will say, well, why wouldn't you return it? If you put out there that we have this relationship and this friendship, but when it came about, oh, you're going against the powers that be, and I want the powers to be to know I'm not on that side. So I'm going to say what it's going to take for them to know I'm, on, I'm with the machine. I'm not about equality. I'm not about what's right and, and what's fair. So... When I went on the Steve Harvey show, I knew the conversation I was going to have with my brother. I didn't know the conversation he was going to have back with me. He said something. Mm, 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 mm. Now, you see, our tables are turning, man. Real talk. Brothers with a bag. Brothers that's working and whatnot. Maintain your manhood. Keep your integrity. Don't let nobody step on you, man. Regardless. Because you know your worth. You know your worth. But anyway, I want to thank you for taking your time and putting your eyeballs on this screen. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share it. This is your boy, Peace, and a bottle of hat grease. One.